One second. What's good about this iron is meron siyang ano, meron siyang <coughs> maliit lang siya na pahaba. Ito, oh sorry. I didn't mean to point that finger. <coughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be um, a hair tutorial or a hair video or whatever you want to call it. But I thought of sharing what I use just in case you need help in what brand or what kind of iron to use, things like that and a little bit of um, some tips I've learned along the way. This is how my hair looks like. I did not use any blow dryer or even yung sa electric fan I just let it dry by itself so I know you're seeing a lot of waves my hair is naturally straight I wanted curly hair so bad so I use a lot of product and I had different treatments for my hair to achieve that perfect curls that I want but I ended up just damaging my hair so right now when I let it dry by itself it gives me those waves that I don't like if you guys can tell I don't straighten or curl my hair every day because I'm scared that I'll wake up one day and then super siraning hair go so I do it maybe twice or thrice a week and then I can get rid of the the waves using the blow dryer so I only have two or tools or whatever you want to call it the first one is this Babyliss um, pearl I pearl I forgot what it's called. I don't have I don't have the packaging anymore, but let me Google it real quick. So this is how it looks like when I got it from Landmark. This is what I use uh, for straightening my hair and for curling my hair as well. Now if I want um, those mermaid curls, I have this one, the triple barrel. I don't see long plate sizes. The one, the smallest is the 19 inches. This one is the 25 inches. And they also have the 28 and the 32 um, inches. I believe this one costs 1,600 or 1,700 around those prices. So if I want those curls or those beach waves, I use this one. But I'll be very honest, I use this being once a month or once every three weeks and depending lang talaga sa mood ko the reason why i don't use this a lot is because it's so um time consuming you section your hair and lalagay nyo siya dyan, and then you do it and you leave it there for a couple of seconds maybe a minute and then lilipat ka na naman dito and then lilipat ka na naman dito until you get everything um, if you have longer hair like like me it would take you at least an hour to achieve that uh, mermaid waves a lot of people said na it's time consuming kasi you need to section your hair or whatever it doesn't need to be perfect naman so I just pull out a section of my hair and then Lanchahin lang siya. And then nilalagay ko lang siya sa likod. And then finish up this side and then this side. Meron siyang two options. So dito, of course, it's off. If you push it once. If you push it once, nasa gitna na siya. That means it's low heat. Well, I don't remember the specific temperature, but that's low heat. And if you want it na super mainit siya, you put it dito sa pinakadulo. So, dalawa lang yung options niya for, for temperature. I know that they have other models that has more options for temperature. So, ganyan lang siya. Targetin nyo lang yung may mga waves. One more tip, if you want your hair to have a little bit of volume, if you have um, thin hair strands or manipis lang talaga yung hair mo, what I do is, inaangat ko siyang ganyan, and then I iron it outward, and then curve mo sa dulo. Parang ganyan, para meron siyang, para meron siyang ganyan sa dulo. Nagbibigay siya ng illusion na, na makapal yung hair mo. So, I'm just gonna finish it up. See, I don't even use uh, a comb or a brush. Tamad-tamaran lang. Pero kung gusto nyo gumamit ng comb, okay lang naman. I'm not gonna stop you. 
Nobody's gonna stop you. And then on to the bangs. Kasi meron na kong bangs. Nagbangs kasi ako a couple of weeks ago. So what I do for my bangs is nilalagay ko siya sa center, and then. Tapos, regardless if I'm gonna have straight hair for the day or if I have curly hair, I iron it na palabas. And then if I'm not so happy with the bangs, pinaplancha ko siya ulit. So notice the difference between this and this. Ito yung naplancha na, ito yung hindi. I know I have straight hair naman, so I can really survive with this. Pero mas maayos kasi tingnan kapag naplancha siya. Yan. So, nothing really special. Ganyan lang naman yung ginagawa ko sa hair ko. So, you guys will notice na if wala naman ako masyadong unwanted waves dito, hindi ko siya pinapaabot sa, sa pinaka-roots. Kasi, like what I mentioned earlier, naturally straight talaga yung hair ko. So, because of the the treatments I had in the past, medyo naging wavy siya. If you don't have um, waves naman dito na kailangang planchahin, I suggest iron the, or just straighten yung sa baba. So that way, hindi na masyadong maka-experience ng heat yung dito nyo, or yung sa pinaka-root. So for those, uh, for you guys na meron ganito, hindi ko alam kung ano natawag dyan, pero yun yung parang may area ng sa sa hairline mo na it causes your hair to to go in different directions. Sorry guys, hindi talaga ako marunong mag-describe ng mga ganyan. I, I grew up in Bacolod, so hindi ko alam ko anong tawag dyan in Tagalog or in English. Let me know in the comment section ko anong tawag dyan. Pero, yon. So, ginagawa ko dyan is I I pull that section of my hair and then, nililipat ko siya sa, kabi, sa opposite na direction. And then, pinaplancha ko siyang paganan. Just be very careful kasi mainit. So, if you notice, after, if you notice, after ko siyang plancha, hindi na siya ganun kahalata. You can keep doing it kung ayaw mo talaga makita na medyo ganyan siya, na medyo ganyan siya. Pero for me, this is good enough. Ako, I do this. Yung parang, I pull out a bigger section and then, pinaplancha ko siyang ganyan para magkaroon siya ng more volume. Ayoko kasi lang masyadong flat tingnan. Para kasi mas healthy kapag may volume. So, kapag sinistraight ko yung hair ko, it's not really completely straight. Kasi, yung ilalim niya may ganyan. If I'm in the mood for straight hair, ganyan lang siya. Madali lang, di ba? Usually, for my hair na ganito kahaba, it takes me um, 10 minutes to achieve um, straight hair like this. Okay, so now that you've seen my straight hair, let me show you how I curl my hair. Yun, if ever na nag-straight ka ng hair and you don't like it and you wanna curl it, go. But I don't recommend it kasi that's too much heat sa hair mo and that's gonna ruin your hair. Um, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I curl my hair. What I do is, parang kanina lang, I start from the back. I take out a certain portion of my hair. Ganyan lang siya. Not too thick, pero not too thin. Kasi pag too thick, hindi, ko mas hindi masyadong ko makapit yung heat. And not too thin because kapag masyadong thin kasi, it's too much heat for that small amount of hair. Normally, kapag sobrang thin na yung, yung section mo, slide siya dun sa plancha or worse, baka kainin ng plancha because of the thin hair strands. So what I do is, I use the same iron and then I just twist it. Nang ganyan. And then you will achieve those curls. So sometimes I want my hair na yung dulo lang yung curly. So one twist and then that's good enough. Pero if you want more curls, pwede na namang isa pang twist. 
sa taas. And if you notice, I used yung pinaka curve ng plancha to curl my hair. So, ayan. So, meron na akong dalawang layer. You can do it again if you want. It's really up to you. Ayan. And then put it at the back. And then pull out another section. Again, not too thick, not too thin. One twist. Because I have long hair, I usually do two twists. And that's it. Let me do that again. So, one twist. And then let's do another one. Yan. Oops, hindi ko masyadong gusto yung twist nun. Perfect. So, ganyan lang. Diba? Madali lang yun, guys. Practice, practice, practice. In the past, um, I use a different iron. Yung sa Watsons. I think yung dry hair only, parang 1,500 pesos. 1,500 pesos siya. Yung sa wet hair, around 2,500 pesos. Yun yung ginagamit ko before. Pero it's okay na siya ha. Don't get me wrong. I love that, that iron or straightener or whatever. And I used it for months. Tapos, um, I realized na ceramic kasi yun. So, parang na, napuputol pa din yung hair ko. Especially because I have really thin um, hair strands. Kaya, I googled kung ano yung magandang, magandang plancha. And then, I know someone who uses Babilis. By the way, guys, they said it's pronounced as Babilis. I pronounced it as Babilis for a long time. Pero Babilis pala siya. It's a UK brand. I know someone who uses uh, Babilis. And she said na super ganda niya talaga. So, I went to Landmark. Originally, magsascout lang talaga ako kung ano yung maganda. Titignan ko lang siya talaga. Kung maganda siya. And then maybe test it out. Pero, nung nakita ko to, I fell in love. And then I said, I want that plancha. I strongly recommend na pag nyo guys. I know it's pricey pero I strongly recommend this brand kasi super tibay niya and maganda siya sa hair kasi hindi nga niya pinuputol yung hair mo. After you use this to either straighten your hair or curl your hair, it leaves your hair na parang ang soft niya tingnan and it gives that certain shine na hindi ko nakuha sa ibang plancha. So I'm almost done with this section or with this side yeah perfect and then last section well i still have my bangs and then ayoko na curl ang bangs ko so like what i said earlier ginaganyan ko lang siya Para may wave pa din siya. Yeah. So that's how it looks like after curling my hair. If you want the the curls to to look that way, okay lang naman. Pero for me kasi, mas gusto mas gusto ko yung medyo magulong curls kaya ginaganyan ko siya. Para is e and then lang siya. Yan. Use your fingers lang. Para medyo magulong curls. I call it mag magulong curls or messy curls. Let's do this side. Ay, shock Hindi ako nakapag-selfie. For Instagram purposes. Maarte ba? Yan. So, let's finish this up. Itong side na to, usually, dito ako naman sa nahihirapan. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm right-handed and nandito siya sa right side. So, ganyan lang siya. Practice, practice lang, guys. And like what I said, wala namang rule book for curling hair. So, it's really up to you kung ano man yung gusto mo ma-achieve. 
If your curls do not come out perfect the first time, okay lang yan. Try and try and try. Don't have the, the budget yet for a nicer plancha. Try niyo yung Watsons or dalawang thousand something pa din naman yun. Try niyo yung um may nagamit akong plancha in the past. Binili ko lang yun sa ano sa lianas. Alam niyo yun. Yung sa may pasig. Bumili ako ng plancha doon before. Yun yung gamit ko. Okay na yun. If gusto nyo na mag-practice, nasa 300 lang yata yun. Or basta less than 500. If you're not so happy yet with the curls, ulit-ulitin nyo lang hanggang sa maligayan na kayo dun sa curls. And I, I wanna say it again, as much as possible, do not do it every day. Kasi grabe, masisira yung hair mo. One more tip, by the way. If gusto nyo ng fuller curls, dapat yung pagplancha nyo pa ganun. Ganyan. Para pag curl niya, mas mabilog siya. If you want those curls na medyo mal maliit lang, pero ano, pahaba. Tapos slant niyo yung plancha niyo this way. And then curl niyo siyang pa ganyan. So, notice yung difference. Ito yung paslant na maliit. Ito yung bigger curl. Ayan. So, it's really up to you kung ano yung peg mo. Pwede mo nga i-combine if, if gusto mo. Ako, I prefer yung pahaba pero manipis na, maliit na curl. At na yata ng pwedeng pangkulot na try ko. Na try ko na yung, yung rollers, na try ko na yung curling rods, yung pahaba. And then you twist it and then you parang paikot mo siyang ganyan. Na try ko na yung, um, ano yun? May isa pa eh. Yung parang, basta pa ganun siya. And then you put it sa hair mo for hours. Yung pa ganun, and then yung curling rods. Pag ginamit mo yun, you have to leave it there for hours to achieve curls. And I know that that's better kasi walang heat, walang um, electricity na involved. If you think about it, para mas convenient to use a plancha. The thing about this curling iron is, ganito yung ano niya. Ganito yung whatever you call this. So, ganyan siya. And you need to buy a separate adapter. Walang adapter sa package niya. So, you need to buy a separate adapter for this one. I bought mine sa Ace Hardware. I think this cost 60 pesos. So, not bad pa din. Ganyan siya. It's available in SM stores. And, and even in Landmark. I bought mine at Landmark. And they usually are on sale. I paid around 3,200 pesos for this. Kaya, check them out, and if you have the money, go ahead and invest on a tool like this. I've been using it for months now, and I have never been more satisfied with a hair tool. Um, I, I strongly recommend you save money to purchase this, kasi I'd rather save money for this than buy cheaper ones, pero masisira yung hair. So, it comes with titanium plate. Kaya hindi napaputol yung hair nyo. It, it's not damaging your hair. I've used this for a long time and I've never experienced, you know, that moment na nagpa-plancha ka and you heard your hair na kinain ng, ng plate. Dito, hindi ko na-experience yun. I strongly recommend buying this one. So, yun. So, na-try ko na lahat ng possible na pampakulot pero dito lang talaga ako mas lumigaya. If you have ombre hair, mas maganda siya tingnan kapag naka-curls. Yan. Oh, I forgot to mention that before I straighten or curl my hair, I apply a heat protect or um, this flat iron spray. This is the um, Ever Straightening Plus Brazilian Keratin Therapy. How about? Uh, flat iron spray. This is an exclusive blend with coconut oil, keratin proteins, avocado oil, and cocoa butter that helps to strengthen and soften the hair, um, adding a brilliant, luxurious glow and luminescent shine.
Bam. I got this from Landmark and this cost 499 pesos. But you do not need to put a lot. I know it's pricey. Kaya medyo dapat tiperin din siya. What I do is I use my ear para malaman ko kung saan yung a-applyan ko ng hairspray. So if I'm gonna straighten my hair, what I normally do is I look at the tip of my ear and then spray it from here going down. If I'm gonna curl my hair, I look at the bottom of my ear. I spray it from here going down. So that's what I do. Para alam ko where to apply the hairspray and mas matipid ko siya. That's something that you guys can do as well. Or if you guys have tips other than the one I shared, go ahead and share that in the comment section below para malaman din namin and matry din namin for ourselves. After curling your hair, di ba minsan, lalo na if your hair hasn't gone through a lot of treatment, the tendency is bumabagsak agad yung hair. What I suggest is you use a hairspray to keep it um, curly all throughout the day or kahit yung entire shift mo lang. You may want to use a hairspray to keep it curly or para kumapit lang yung curls until the end of your shift. Hindi yung jeep ka lang. Nangina lang ng konti, straight na. What I normally use is this Beach Born Sea Salt Spray. Less than 200 pesos siya. Just a tip on using this. Just apply a small portion of the product. Kasi ako, how I apply it is, I normally just lift my curls this way, and then from afar, spray it. That's it. And then, medyo spread mo lang yung spray. The reason why I do that is, para hindi siya super tigas. Kasi, just like any other hairspray, it can leave your hair a little dry and yung parang rough yung texture niya. And I don't like that sa hair ko. I've been using it for months and if you notice, ganyan na siya. I don't know if you guys can see. Pero, ayan. More than half na yung naubos ko. And this is way cheaper than other hairspray. And what I also love about this hairspray, guys, is it's all organic. Your hair has been through too much heat already. And the least you could do is offer it um, an all organic hairspray. So, yun. They have an Instagram account and a Facebook account. I'll put the, their information below so you guys can purchase from them. So anyways, that's how I fix my hair. That's how I straighten or curl my hair. I hope that you find this helpful. If you guys want me to show you how I do my mermaid waves, leave a comment below and I will film another video using this triple barrel. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. I value your comments, so please leave me some comments below and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Medyo napunta pa sa kamay ko. So, for smooth the cuticle. Wow, okay. So this is an exclusive blend with Coco, um, Take 1000. This is an exclusive, uh, <laughs> Take 1001. Take 1001.